how's it going guys I thought I would just hop on here and make a quick video about how I'm going to um, switch over my summer wardrobe to my winter wardrobe just the steps I use it's pretty basic pretty easy but I just want to prep my wardrobe because it's definitely getting colder and I really want some of my thicker clothes up here ready to go so let's get started hey guys this is the wardrobe situation I haven't done anything to tidy it that end is not mine that's not my stuff down there this is my side here so all I've got hanging up here are like my nice shirts stuff like that my sh my college shirts and then these are all just jumpers summer jumpers and my favorite jumpers so some of these um stay here for winter as well but some that are like really thin like this one which you can tell is just really thin these really summery ones will go get packed away then i've got long sleeved tees my nice short sleeve tees jeans and pants and in the drawers we've got workout tops um, nice shorts and casual shorts so most likely most of these drawers will get emptied this is just shoes they'll all be staying then under the bed I've got a couple of drawers the first drawer is just like casual tees so these are just like band tees gig tees tees from like my old work tees from uni just like random tees you can wear them as pajamas you can wear them to paint in you can rip them to hide them they're just old t-shirts and I love having a good supply of those they also hold good memories you know and then and here this is like overflowing but these are my pajamas my swimsuits and my makeup travel cases so I'm going to be putting all of my short pajamas into storage and getting out my fleecy ones and I'll probably put a few swimsuits in storage too because I don't swim as much in winter then this is my chest of drawers so we just have bras sports bras comfy bras with no underwire these are like nice like lacy bras underpants you guys don't need to see that whatever leggings socks and crop tops random stuff like um festival wear which i could probably put away because my festivals got cancelled so this is the spare room slash the office this is pretty much mostly my wardrobe um there's a few things of cams in here but these are short skirts these are like blazers and short jackets, denim coats, etc. Um, got a little section of like dungarees and play suits here. Then these are like my nice, like nicer like dresses, like linen dresses, viscose and silk dresses, like my nice branded dresses. Um, and then I go into like my more professional work like clinical wear dresses uh, skirts so you know just pleated skirts my you know plain black pants a staple that stuff and then I've got my summer dresses so we just have some nice summer dresses and going out dresses back here and we slide the mirror over then on this side I just have some random shoes here and then these are like my long stuff they go all the way to the ground so these are like my long summer dresses they're my um, long coats and any kind of like you know like my jumpsuit long stuff so a few of these summer dresses can probably go away for um, summer and usually I would pack my coats away for winter but I didn't this year because I did have the space to keep them here um, I did a big declutter late last year so I had the space to keep my coats nice guys I have some more summer stuff well summer fan to go into storage that is just we're not using that at the moment so that can go into storage 
What's up guys? I finished my tutorial, finished study for the day and now I'm just doing my summer to winter swap over for my wardrobe so I'll probably be doing that all evening. I'll probably be doing that all evening and I'm filming it if you guys are interested in how I switch over my seasonal wardrobe. I have to switch over my seasonal wardrobe because I probably have too many clothes for one person and my summer and winter don't all fit together. I just had to bring that down all by myself. Like my fingers hurt, my shoulders hurt. That was just like such an awkward load to carry. What's up guys? I've just come across to the other building where my car and cars are parked where I've got some storage cabinets. Okay guys, this is the situation of the um, garage storage. There's my bicycle which needs a bit of work done but that's okay. That box there is my winter stuff. And then also at the back, there should be a metal clothes hanger that I want to get out. This is just like, this is winter, winter stuff, like my down jackets and my ski coat. Oh, that's a spare lab coat for uni, a wetsuit, a spare raincoat. And these are just um, like memorable, hoodies that I don't wear but I don't want to get rid of. Let's get started into getting this stuff out and putting that stuff in. You guys probably can't tell from the depth of field that you're looking at but this whole area is like empty ready for my summer stuff and there's lots of space on this side too so I'm just gonna close this for now I've parked the car down here and I need to go down and get the stuff out of it which I'm gonna do now um, and then I can start organizing my closet what I might do once I've put the stuff up to switch over for my wardrobe is I might have a quick shower and some dinner because I'm feeling like after that and then I'll be able to like film the rest and feel good about it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go down and get that stuff now. Okay guys, I know this looks a bit messy, but I've got everything I need for changeover now. So this is winter stuff. This is vacuum bags and these are coat hangers because um, and pants hangers but I don't think I need these at the moment so but I do need some more of these. So that's everything ready to go. Okay guys so I've bought everything up to do my summer winter changeover. I'm sweaty as I'm a sweaty botch so I'm just going to jump in the shower, have a shower and um, make some dinner and then I'm going to get started. So that's where I'm at for the day. It's 5.30. So see you guys after my shower. Okay guys, I've sorted myself out and I'm ready to start digging in. It's about 20 to 8. Taking clothes out first before I put clothes in. I also need to figure out if there's anything I'm putting in that needs like dry cleaning or anything. It should have all been done before I put it away. So like everything I'm putting away is clean. I'm probably going to mostly montage this because I want to play music. I'm just going to decide which ones of these I want to use. Like I've got to, I don't know if I just want to put all of my summer clothes in like this big ass one. Like, can you see how big that is? It's like as big as me. Okay guys, so I've just taken out my shorts, no shorts in here, I probably will keep a couple pairs. There's something at the back, I wonder if I can, oh, yo, 
It's a t-shirt. It's a sports top. I'm pretty sure, so I'll just put that in there. I took out the jumpers that aren't really warm enough for winter. And a couple of the really summery, like, lightweight shirts. I considered taking this one out, but it is actually quite nice, so I should try and wear it a little bit more. I really like this giant, like, sleeve. It's ridiculous, but it's great. And then I kept my, like, thicker linen shirts. Long sleeve ones, and yeah, these are just nice t-shirts which I wear year round, so I'm not going to be taking those down. So, I can take the hangers out now, that don't have things on them. That's what we're looking at, and usually this is like crammed full, like squashed to the fullness. So, that's just, these are just the jumpers I'm keeping for winter that I also keep for summer so I've got just like a couple of shorter kind of cropped-ish ones um my Beyonce Coachella one I will never put away I love it and this oversized one is just like a home one but it also looks great like going to uni too <coughs> and then I've got this white moochie one yeah a couple of moochie ones Adidas that CNM one so that's what we're dealing with. I'm not getting rid of any t-shirts. I wear t-shirts every day. Jeans. I haven't been wearing jeans much, but it's coming into winter. And I will be wearing them more, so just leave those there. So yeah, I actually think I'm going to put my jeans away next summer. I left them out this summer and I never wore them. So they're going to go away next summer. I need to now, let's move this. Get my short pyjamas out that I don't want any more like I don't want like you know these are like skimpy ass so I just want to get rid of my short 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 shorts you know what's up I've just come to this part of my closet we're just going to take some stuff out of here, but my battery's about to die, so I'm just going to go change it. Okay, I officially need to wear this more like I never wear it. That is just like a casual dress. This dress is like a summer sports dress. My sweaty Betty, that can go. Let's get rid of that. These dresses can all go. This is three of the same dress by Dreamers and Drifters, a Byron Bay brand. I have three because they're just so flattering. I'm gonna keep this dress because it looks cute with like tees underneath. These are just nice dresses that I have out. So it's just like if I decide I wanna wear one, it's such a hassle to get it out of the vacuum bag. So do I just leave it or put it in the vacuum bag because I like never wear it. But then I'm way less likely to wear it if it's in the vacuum bag. So I think I'm just gonna leave these nice ones here have a look on this side now this is definitely a summer dress well oh, won't be wearing that anytime soon summer dress um, same as with this lace dress that was a fifth for a festival these are going out clothes, so I might wear them like on a night out. So it doesn't matter what the weather is for that. Let's take these out. And this is just from Princess Polly. I love this. I've worn this heaps. I wore it for my birthday last year. And to be honest, I'll probably wear it again for my birthday this year because I like it so much. This is definitely wearable in winter. This is definitely a summer dress. This could definitely get its own hanger. I love this 27 name skirt. This is quite a summery dress. I'm just going to leave that for now. Oh, that's summery as well. Oh. The thing is, like, Auckland has such mild weather. It's so easy to wear clothes year round. So we're just going to go with the flow. Oh, that's quite summery as well. I'm just going to leave it. Silk pyjamas. 
okay these I just wear around the house like pajamas so I just leave them there jumpsuit this is a nice going out outfit but these two jumpsuits are 100% summer vibes these dungarees are like going out vibes just leave those there and then coats we just we love a coat in winter so skip the coats so that's that wardrobe done that's ridiculous that's my pile of summer clothes I think that there's some stuff in there that I'm not going to keep so I'm going to go through that now and take it out that I don't want to keep and I'll probably just give that away to my friends All right guys, so these are the vacuum bags ready to go and that stuff I don't want anymore so I'm just going to take some pictures and see if my friends want any of that. Now I'm going to attempt to use the vacuum and seal these. So we'll see how it goes. I've got my vacuum without the attachment stick so we're just going to try use this directly. Way to store clothes. This is awesome. This is the Big Daddy. This is my summer hoodies. Okay, this one's fat. I'm gonna show you. So just unscrew this and then put this here, but I have to cover that hole there. So give me a second. See if I can just put you down. Solid rock of sweaters. All right, now I've put all my summer stuff away. It's time to get the winter stuff out. This is my box of winter hoodies and knits. So I'm just going to go through this and hang up the ones I want. And if there's anything I don't want, I'm going to put it in that pile over there. So let's get started doing this. Okay guys, so all of my vacuum packed bags fit in this box with room to spare. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually take them out and put these empty jewellery boxes in. I just keep these in case one day down the line I want to sell my jewellery and I want to sell it with a box. So let's take these out. So I've still got a big mess, but this is it here now, so it's like more full because hoodies are way thicker, but here's my like t-shirts, long sleeves section, and then these are my sweaters and jumpers, which I literally live in a different one every day because I'm so messy. So that's the section there to there, and then this is like nicer clothes. And then over here is the same. We've just got long sleeve tops, 
short sleeve tops and then instead of jeans I've got knits so I like my knits to be folded rather than hung up because otherwise I lose their shape and then we've got my favorite pants in here um, exercise t-shirts here and then jeans that I still like but couldn't fit in here just in the bottom I know you probably can't tell but this is way less full this used to be like jam-packed up to the top across like the whole thing and it was always a mission to close it um, but now that I've started switching out pajamas as well, I never used to, but I just figured why not like give myself space each season, like I'll take out these flannel pants and stuff when summer comes back, but this is just like pants, and then this is tops, these are just old tops which are now pajama tops, like flannel tops. Okay guys, everything is put away, it needs a vacuum and stuff now, but that's all good, but this drawer was the last one. And I just put my like shorts, running shorts next to my crop tops. I just have to take this down to the garage. So that's my wardrobe switch over from summer to winter complete. I just thought I would share that with you because I like to watch videos like that. I don't even know why. And also I found out about, found out about that um, vacuum bag hack, which I thought was just like so smart. And I really wanted to try it. And I'm not even kidding, that box, which is usually overflowing, and I have to sellotape shut. It's got so much space in there now. So when summer comes, I can compress all my extra hoodies and knits into there and be good to go. Let's go down to the basement and do the last part, which is putting that stuff away, and then my switchover is really, truly done.